Welcome back to News Across Nigeria. The governor of Delta State, Senator Ifai Okoa, has been speaking of maritime security in the nation and criticizing those who are a threat to the government uh, receiving revenue from that sector because of the acts of vandals and criminals. But before we go further with that story, we'd like to remind you that all our top stories can be found on our website, channelstv.com and on youtube.com forward slash channels web. Visit m.channelstv.com to view us live on your mobile device. You can also download the Channels TV app for Android, iOS, and Windows phones from their respective stores. We'd also like to urge you to please interact with the eyewitness feature in the Channels TV app on the Android, iOS, and Windows platforms. If you have pictures or videos you would like to share with us, tap the application on your device, swipe to reveal the eyewitness menu, and follow the instructions. Let's show you some pictures sent in to us by you, our viewers, from across the country via our eyewitness portal. And this one is coming from the southwest in Lagos, Surilere to be exact, showing the air being polluted by fumes from a burning substance. Our eyewitness reporter wants relevant agencies to end cases of air pollution. And this one shows some portion of the electronic market, also in Lagos State, in Oshodi, flooded after rainfall recorded earlier today. Our eyewitness reporter wants local government authorities to create better drainage systems. And in Oyo State, also in the southwest, but at the Awoa community, is a refuse abandoned along uh, the main road, heap of refuse, that is, abandoned along the main road, that leads to the University of Ibadan. The person that sent this one in wants the state government to create more awareness on the need to keep the environment clean. And finally, we have this photo sent in from Oshogbo Road in Oshu State. It shows an overladen truck. We've been getting a lot of these sorts of photos, overladen trucks, overladen bicycles, motorcycles. This one is a truck going along the highway. The person that sent it in wants traffic regulatory agencies to apprehend drivers of such vehicles. How did they get out of the garage? If they could get into a garage. So I want to thank you for those pictures. Uh, please keep them coming. Now, the Niger Delta Development Commission is looking to unlock the abundant human and natural resource in the region for sustainable development of the area. The management of the commission aims to do this with its development partners, brainstorming on ways to bring such progress to the people. Addressing participants at an interactive session in Port Harcourt, the River State Capital, the Chief of Staff to the Vice President of Nigeria, Ade Pae, highlighted the position of the federal government in relation to the development of the region. The keynote speaker, Professor Chris Imafidon, says everything possible should be done to tap the abundant human as well as natural resource to promote an all-inclusive growth of the Niger Delta. The Secretary to the Government of State. It kicks off with the host of the event and Managing Director of the NDDC, Mr. Basi Dan Abia, listing poor funding of the Commission as one of the challenges. Mr. Dan Abia goes on to urge the Nigerian liquefied natural gas company to initiate the process of paying its own contribution to the funding of the Niger Delta Development Commission based on the fact that the NLNG fell within the oil and gas producing companies operating within the Niger Delta region. Institutions, development agencies, government at all levels must come into partnership and collaboration to overcome these challenges. Evidently, the NDDC cannot achieve its mandate without you as the PAD forum remains the recommended vehicle for the actualization of the Niger Delta Regional Development Master Plan. The NDDC bosses speech sets the ball rolling. The Vice President, represented by the Deputy Chief of Staff, Ade Ikbae, believes that the issue of environmental degradation in the region must be tackled. For the Niger Delta, many have observed that the riches in hydrocarbon may not have translated to a prosperous existence for the majority of the people. The task for us now is to stop that trend 
and strengthen institutions and processes that will fix the problem. In comes the keynote speaker, who is of the view that the region is blessed with youth who have embraced technology and should be encouraged. His views are shared by an American senator who says that her country is more than willing to partner with the Niger Delta region in its quest for development. What really defines Nigeria in terms of achieving success is that word, human capital development. For us to see that what makes us successful is not the absence of obstacles. No, no, no. It's not the fact that we don't have challenges. In fact, the challenges make us work harder and circumvent every known way and create a brand new way to do things and we do it differently. I want to do everything I can to roll out the red carpet for Nigeria when you come to America, especially to the state of Georgia. You know, we've been left out much too long. And it's time that we develop close relationships and working relationships. Residents of the Niger Delta region, and indeed Nigerians as a whole, will be hoping that these ideas transcend talks, but result in positive changes that will cause the fortunes of one of the most lucrative regions of the country to go higher. And the activities of persons who take actions detrimental to the economy has been criticized by the Delta State Governor, Ifayo Kawa. Stay with us. 